First at 4.30, more businesses are closing up shop along the rails construction zone in Kalihi. They say they've simply lost too much money. Jelani Martinez has their story. Three businesses at this Kalihi shopping plaza have decided to close their shops before the new year. They tell me the ongoing rail construction on Dillingham that's caused congestion and traffic was affecting their revenue. When people come from uh, Costco, they can't make a left hand turn, so they just continue to go and then I lost a lot of customers. Danielle Postmas has already taken down the sign to the subway franchise she ran for 25 years. And now a new sign on the door informs customers the sandwich shop is no longer in business. We have gotten no relief. I mean, I've reached out to, you know, like I said, getting a rent reduction. Uh, I reached out to corporate. They were um, adamant about, you know, hey, you have to remodel your store or sell it. I mean, how can I sell a business like this that the sales have decreased more than 65%? It was sad news to longtime customers like Ivan Nita, who works nearby. He was hoping to get a bike for lunch. This store was so close to us, and if we want to get something to eat, we have to go all further out and, and, and fight the traffic. It'll be take long to come back to work, you know. I try to uh, ride my bicycle to, to get lunch because I know the, the traffic is so bad. Several doors down was Locks of Bagels. Its owners recently relocated to Bishop Street. The area was also home to Shave Ice and soft serve ice cream shop Kawaii Ice Wave. It opened in 2021, but closed last month and moved to Pro Ridge because of slumping sales. Revenue dropped by more than 70%. It was really tough for us to survive. It gradually started going down and then it just got worse because the construction is stuck at our pro at the corner or intersection of our property. Hart says there are over 200 businesses in the work zone. In a statement, the agency says based on input from business owners, new business access signs were recently installed in front of every driveway fronting a business on Dillingham Boulevard. Councilman Tyler Dos Santos Tam, who represents the Kalihi area, says they're trying to get funding relief for businesses that are still open. So we've had a transit construction mitigation fund for years, which is intended to help these businesses, but there was never any way to disperse that money. And so Bill 40 is seeking to specify that it's businesses that make less than 750000 a year and have 15 or fewer employees. We really want to target these kind of mom and pop businesses, a lot of whom have been in Kalihi for years, that are just really trying to make it through. Bill 40 will be heard in the council's budget committee next week, Tuesday at 9 a.m. Businesses are encouraged to testify. Reporting from Kalihi, Jolani Martinez, Hawaii News Now. Jolani, thank you. Fentanyl